Hello everyone, welcome back to another video where today we are going to be talking about the confirmed news that Stephen Moffat, yes, Stephen Moffat, has been confirmed by the BBC to be returning to Doctor Who to write an episode at least for Shooty Gatwa's debut series. I'm just going to get right into this because obviously we've been speculating about this for months and very recently there was more to suggest that he was working on a Christmas special for Gatwa's Doctor. I believe a CV suggested that he was working on a Christmas episode, so I'm not sure whether that's what this is or whether it's another episode in season one. I guess we'll have a look and see what the press release says, but I'm just going to get right into this. Subscribe if you knew that would be greatly appreciated. And yeah, let's get right into this. I'm trying to get to like 25,000 subscribers this year, and I think that'd be really nice to hit. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Also, apologies if you hear any background noise, stuff's going on in the house. But as soon as this came out, I just had to talk about it, because big news, Stephen Moffat's official return. Stephen Moffat returns to Doctor Who. The former showrunner makes an explosive return as he writes an episode of Shooty Gatwa's first season as the Doctor. And yes, this is the official BBC Doctor Who account. And that image, I believe, is from his final interviews. And then, yeah, we see a full blurb here on the BBC website. Stephen Moffat returns to write episode for new season of Doctor Who. Stephen Moffat writes an episode for new season of Doctor Who, directed by Julie Ann Robinson, who we've already heard about. Former showrunner Stephen Moffat makes an explosive return to the new series of Doctor Who as he writes an episode due to air in Shooting Out was first full season as the Doctor. Stephen has been lauded for his work on Doctor Who, first writing on the show when Russell T Davis revived it in 2005. He then went on to succeed as showrunner, leading the show during the Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi eras. Stephen is known for penning some of the most praised stories in the show's history, as well as creating some of the most terrifying and iconic monsters, the Weeping Angels. Outside of Doctor Who, Stephen has been celebrated for co-writing and creating the multi-award winning Sherlock. Now he's back, returning alongside Sharon of Russell T. Davis as he makes a whole new adventure for the upcoming season, debuting this May. Okay, so yeah, it is for the normal season this May, okay. Directing the thrilling adventure will be BAFTA, Emmy and Golden Globe nominee Julianne Robinson, who also kicks off the season by directing the episode that succeeds The Church on Ruby Road that aired at Christmas. Julianne has previously worked on blockbusters as well as Bridgerton, Orange is the New Black, and Scandal, and is now jumping on board the TARDIS to direct two of the new episodes. Speaking on his return to the Hooniverse, Stephen Moffat says, Yes, okay, fair enough. Apologies to everyone. I'm very slightly misled. I am, in fact, writing an episode of the series of Doctor Who, exactly like I never said I would. What can I tell you? There was begging, there was pleading, but finally... Russell agreed to let me have another go. So long as I got out of his garden, <laughs> very funny, working with old friends and a brand new doctor, I couldn't be happier. Sorry I was a bit reticent on the subject for so long. It was all part of an elaborate plan that would have delighted millions, but at the last minute, I forgot what it was. Speaking on directing the episode of the new season, Julianne Robinson said, it was a tremendous honour to direct episodes of Doctor Who for BBC and Disney. This is a beloved 60-year-old franchise and still going. It is part of our collective memory as Brits. I've always admired Russell D. Davis and Shooty Gatwa is an unbelievably talented actor who has stepped into the role as the 15th Doctor effortlessly. Equally talented, Millie Gibson, Stephen Moffat gave me an immense challenge as a director. I asked him for a keyword to describe the overall tone of the episode and he said Hitchcock. I can't wait to see what everyone thinks. I'm grateful to the Bad Wolf, the BBC and Disney. It was an incredible experience. So there you go. He is writing an episode officially for season one. Okay, so the audio corrupted for the rest of this file, so I'm having to do it from where I left off. Yeah, in short, I think this is an incredibly good piece of news. I know that for some people, they are going to be divided on this, right? I understand that in his day, Stephen Moffat was a bit of a contentious writer. I know there was a lot of episodes that he wrote that people either didn't like or had mixed opinions on. For me, whilst that definitely was the case, the good always outweighed the bad, and I felt when Moffat hit with an episode, he really, really hit. And I think arguably his most successful, consistently successful period as a writer was under Russell T. Davis, in terms of, for my personal opinion, of the episodes individually, because when he was showing it himself, I often thought sometimes he would let his ideas get away with him a little bit. I think having someone else there sort of grounded his approach a little bit when it came to certain stories, certain ideas. So, yeah, I only really see this as a good thing. I do understand the argument of wanting more fresh blood, more new talent, 
but I think that will come with time. Personally, for me, if Moffat wants to come back, I think that should be afforded to him. I think he's written enough quality scripts to deserve to be able to come back. I mean, just looking at the catalogue from RTD1 alone kind of justifies that. Blink, Girl in the Fireplace, The Anti Child Doctor Dances, and The Forest two parter, The Library two parter. All of those alone are enough to make this an exciting thing. And then you factor in some of the stuff he wrote for his own era, Heaven Sen, World of Time Doctor Falls, The Eleventh Hour, and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. I think he deserves to come back in much the same way as Robert Holmes or Terence Dix would have came back during the classic series. I think Stephen Moffat has more than earned that place among the new Who kind of talent. And yeah, for me, it's only a good thing. I think wanting new talent is fair, but I think we can have both. I think we can have new people come in and we can have, you know, Russell P. Davis's, you Stephen Moffat's coming in to do what they do best. And I'm personally very excited. The rumour is that he's going to be doing episode three, I think, because the rumour was episode three, and then there was a further rumour about Christmas, which, if anything, probably has more legitimacy behind it now that we know he's doing at least one, because if he's doing at least one, that opens the door for more, but I digress. Yeah, so the thing that I heard was that he's doing episode three, which is a more sci-fi based episode, which, if that's the case, very excited to see, because I always thought that Moffat was always great with the grand cosmic ideas. Russell's very good with the down-to-earth personal family stuff. Obviously, you know, that's not an exclusive thing because look at something like Wild Blue Yonder. But generally, if you, if you were to ask me the difference between the two writers, I'd say Moffat is at his best when he's doing these big, big ideas and big events. Russell focuses on the more small character family level stuff. So I think this could be a match made in heaven. I'm incredibly excited to see what these two minds cook up. And Julianne Robinson, I feel like we've heard that name before. I feel like we've known for a while she's directing, so nice to have that confirmed as well. Yeah, I'm very excited for this. Uh, there's not much else to say, because we don't really know what the episode entails yet. But it is cool to have this confirmed. Seeing a lot of jokes already. Yeah. The one thing I will say is I don't quite get people saying that this means that Chibnall should come back. I, it always seemed to me like Moffat wanted to come back. Even when he said he didn't, it was kind of like a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Sure, I don't. But with Chibnall, I think there is just a case of he's just left. So I'm not sure why people say, oh, well, if, if Russell and Moffat are coming back, that means Chibnall has to come back. I don't think it necessarily does mean that. I think that's a bit of a presumptuous thing. He might not want to come back. And also, it's a lot more recent for Chris than it was for Stephen and Russell, you know. For Russell, it was, what, 20 years ago since his first era? And for Stephen, while it's not as long, it is about, what, eight years since he last wrote Doctor Who, something like that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think about Stephen Moffat coming back? Let me know your thoughts. Please like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you later.